Right, so here's the engine in a nitro car. If you want to know what this car is, it's a GV Models Hunter, as it says in the back. Now, this is a 25 engine, which is basically the size of the engine, the space inside it, which is, uh, I think it's measured in cubic centimetres. So, the bigger the size, obviously, the more power you're going to get. And, uh, right, first of all, this, this tube here goes from the exhaust into the fuel and top of the fuel tank like that to create sort of pressure within the system otherwise the fuel will never flow into the engine and the fuel uh, intake just goes into the fuel tank and into the carburetor and the carburetor if I take the air filter off is in there if you can see and if I uh, move this it goes in and out and basically when it's fully out that's when the engine's going at its full speed. It's basically letting more air into the engine, and as it closes, it's letting less air in. So the less air you get in, the slower the nitro engine will go. The more you get in, the faster it's going to go. And that's basically the speed control, if you like. Right, I'll move on to tuning now. Now tuning's it's really simple, but it should only take ten minutes or so. But when you first when you first get a nitro car. You should run it through about three to five tanks of fuel, just uh, sort of sat on a bucket or something, just off the floor, just to sort of run the engine in a bit, and then you should run it through about another five, just driving it around slowly, at about no more than half throttle, and then you can move on, and then it should be just about run in, and you can move on to, well, just using it normally full throttle, but you also after that you'll need to tune it. Now there's there's two needles on the engine. There's this one here, which is sort of the mid end needle or mid sort of mid to low end needle, and basically this controls the mid to low end range of the engine. So if you're running it at half throttle, that's sort of the mid range. And there's the this needle here, which is the top end range, which, well, as its name suggests, controls the top end of your nitro engine. So, if you turn it clockwise, uh, the engine it will lean the engine out, which means less fuel and more air, if I'm right. And if you turn it the other way, it richens it, which means more fuel, less air. Now, if you ri if you run it rich, your engine's probably going to last a bit longer. You're not going to get as much power, and you're going to have a lot of smoke coming out of your engine. So what you need to do is if when you're running your car, it's running a bit sluggish, there's a bit of, quite a bit of smoke coming out, then just turn it clockwise about quarter, quarter of a turn, and just try that on the mid-range. And also if it's still, if it's got a lot of power and it sometimes overheats and cuts out, then uh, try reducing it a bit. And you basically just need to keep changing it, turn it back until you get it just about right. And it sh it's just about right when there's there should be a little bit of smoke coming out when you fully open the throttle, but not heaps of smoke, just a little bit coming out. And uh, it shouldn't be overheating, and it shouldn't feel sort of sluggish and underpowered. And the needle on the top end is just the same, really. It's just when you full if you fully open the throttle, and it just doesn't seem to make a difference. It just goes sluggish, and it doesn't move at all. You should. Uh, lean it out a bit to get a bit more power or if when you open the throttle it just flies off and sometimes overheats and cuts out then you need to turn it to the left to richen it now there's also a little needle here just under the carburetor and this basically controls the the amount that this can go in so if you see it doesn't fully close that's because the needle has a little thing on the end that stops it from going in and if it fully closed, the engine would cut. And if you're finding that your engine is cutting out on sort of idle, then you'll need to, I think, tighten this up so it therefore won't close as much on idle.